One step closer to a trial, today a Knox County grand jury returned a murder indictment. Investigators say this man gunned down Shane Mills earlier this month. The victim's father says he cannot move past the loss of his son. He talked to WIT's Lauren Osborne about life after the murder. It's getting hard to get by. This is the home where investigators say Richard Brown murdered Shane Mills on May 4th. Less than one month later, memorials is all Mills' father has to hold on to. Not as the same crime. Okay. It hurts bad. Willie Mills says the day before his son's death, Brown came into this family owned store, stopping at the counter to talk to him, wearing a hat and sunglasses. Mills says when Richard Brown came into the store, he asked Mills where he lived. Now, what's interesting about that is this home right behind me, that was Shane Mills' home, just a few feet from the store. But Mills says he believes there's more to the story. There's more than him and Bob. Mills says he cannot go a day without thinking about his son hoping for justice. In Knox County, Lauren Osborne, WIMT Mountain News.